22 of 365 days of clay cups. Uh, gonna throw 22, gonna trim 21, and um, I just, I'll be honest with you. I told you I'd be real on here, and I'm gonna be real. Today was a really difficult day. It's been a day. Um, I didn't know if I, I don't think I mentioned it in any other videos, but we're having a home remodel. We're having our bathroom remodeled right now. And uh, had some other things going on in the house and had toxic fumes and had to vacate and, oh, uh, and then uh, a meeting I had this evening. Uh, I'm just not going to go on. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to throw a cup. And you know what my goal is tonight? I am just going, and I say tonight because, again, it is at night. You can see my breath. But, you know, it's so quiet here and relaxing. So I'm just going to throw for the joy of it tonight. So hope you enjoy. doing the sponge on the first pull. Not necessarily all the way through, but I, I do like doing the first sponge on the first pull up. Because I can I can feel the thickness. I'm going for it as tall as I can get. So, I have to slow down as I get taller though, right? Right.
Tron soundtrack, so I hope it doesn't get... I just realized that this video may be edited out because of copyright. It's, it keeps throwing that tag up to me because it doesn't like my music in the background. I don't know if you realize it. You probably don't realize it. But you, the speaker's right above you. See, like down here, nothing. It's perfectly straight. And then come up here, and it's going to start hitting my finger. So I am going to assume this is centered. And I think that's how you do it. Another question I need answered. I am going to try not to have to put the clay at the bottom. I really, really love to do it without it. It takes a lot of time. Time is my thing. I know I don't have any music on. Oh, wait, you know what? I saw that. I decided I didn't like the little design on the side, so off it comes. Oops. I guess not. Um, I saw... Like he knew exactly where he was going to trim it in, right here. It's like he knew exactly where to go with it. See that? I think there's a lump in there. Look at, there it is. It's not a bubble either. Look at that. I wonder if I can trim it out. Let's see if I can. I might have to change the ideal shape of the cup. See, I hit it. Wow, where did that come from? You know, when I wedge this, I rarely find bubbles. But every once in a while I find a chunk, a really hard chunk of clay. Just like, it, it's almost like it's not even a part of the same batch. And, and I'm just slicing it off the, the cube that I get from uh, the store. See, I don't know what to do about that. Does that happen to you guys? And if it does, what do you do? Because I, I wedged it, I didn't feel anything strange. And even in this throw, I didn't, I didn't feel that lump when I was throwing it. But here we are trimming it, and there it is. It's even a different color. Where is it? Is it still there? Let's see if I can find it. Bump, 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 bump. 
Is that it right there? That is so strange. I don't know what that is. Okay, and he started, he knew he were, where he was going here. I'm going back to that trimming video I saw. Okay. And then, he started in the center and he seemed to pull out. He might have had more. He made uh, the inside of the foot really deep. So I think, and I really liked how that looked. So maybe on my next cups, I'm going to try and leave a little more thickness in the bottom so I can make this a deeper foot. See, I'm talking out loud. Now I'm, now I'm starting to think out loud, making all these videos. Usually I, use, I just sit here in silence and think everything. Oh no, what did I do? I'm sure you guys have figured it out, but I'm a design-as-you-go kind of a person. <laughs> I get ideas, and I can come out with an idea, but sometimes when I get started, I, I get another idea as I'm moving along. And so I try it. Okay, let me show you where I'm going with this. look like, but I'm going to let it firm up and, and dry a little bit before I remove it from the mold because I want it to be, I want it to be really geometric. So, uh, yeah, that's where I'm heading with this cup. Okay, I don't know if I should tell you how I, how I firmed this up. It's actually still steaming. See it? <laughs> I have a, um, a kerosene, well, I say kerosene, I have a propane heater that is keeping me warm. You probably can hear it hissing just a little bit. Not the, the not the blower, but the other one. Well, I set it on top and started sizzling. I felt like I was cooking eggs, but that's how I decided to firm this up in time because I didn't want to have to wait another day. So I am going to actually attach it here, and I can't decide if I want it to go down or if I want it to go up. So, yeah, I'll get to it. I already put some slip. And I decided I am going to actually have it facing down because it's easier on the fingers. It actually felt.